To install SoundThread for Windows, you just need to find your way to this GitHub page. It'll be linked down in the description if you haven't already found it. Um, and you can just come over here to releases and download the latest release that's shown here. Uh, in this case, it's V0.2.0 beta, but if you're watching this sometime away from now, there might be a newer version and you should download that. Uh, once you come into here, uh, you'll find some install instructions, but also down here, each of the builds for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And we're just gonna click on this to download the Windows build. Uh, and we're also going to need to download the Composer's desktop project, which you can find here. And we want to download this version here. Once you've got that downloaded, uh, you'll have these two files and we just need to extract them from their zip files. Uh, once we've done that, we just need to uh, open up the CDP download and we want to run this installer. Uh, this might pop up with a warning. Uh, it has. Uh, this is absolutely fine. Um, CDP is completely safe. Uh, it's just that developers have to pay Windows to remove this warning. Uh, and as this software is free, uh, that's not something that myself or the Composer's desktop project are particularly inclined to do. Uh, so we're going to just go to more info and run anyway. And this will open up the installer. Um, you can choose your location. I would recommend just leaving it here, but you can for SoundThread put this anywhere. But if you'd like to use SoundLoom or SoundShaper at some point in the future, leaving it here is definitely a better choice. Uh, we're just gonna go to unzip. And this is now installed and we can close the installer. Now that we've installed CDP, um, we can open SoundThread for the first time. Uh, so if you go to the SoundThread folder and you can just run SoundThread. Again, this will probably pop up with a warning. Yep, and we can just go more info, run anyway. It won't ask you this every time you want to open it, only the first time. Now SoundThread wants to know where you installed CDP. So we're just gonna click to locate the CDP programs. So we're just going to go to our CD drive. Here's our CDPR8 folder. And we can open that, go to underscore CDP and click on underscore CD progs and select that. Uh, if you put it somewhere else, you're going to need to go and find that underscore CD progs folder wherever you installed it. And if you do choose the wrong folder, you can just go to settings, SoundThread settings and change the location and choose somewhere else. SoundThread will remember where you told it. So you won't need to do this every single time you open it up, only the first time. And that's it, you can start patching. Now I'm gonna walk through installing SoundThread and CDP for Mac. Uh, this is the more complicated of the three installation processes, but it's still fairly easy. The first step is just to get to the GitHub page uh, and that's linked down below. And you just wanna to go to this releases tab here. Uh, when you open that, it's going to take you to all of the releases of SoundThread that are currently available. You just want to download the latest one. In the case of right now, that's 0.2.0 beta. But if you're watching this video sometime in the future, that might be something else. And you should just download the latest one. Uh, to download it, we just want to click on here where it says Mac OS. And we also need to go to the Composer's Desktop website um, and download the Composer's Desktop. Uh, and that's this link here, if you click that and download that. So once you've downloaded both of those, you should have these two files in your download folder. Uh, and we're just gonna start by unzipping both of them so that we can get the files that are inside them. Uh, so we're just gonna unzip SoundThread and we're gonna unzip CDP. Inside the SoundThread folder, um, you will find some installation instructions. We're gonna open those up uh, as there's a few things we're gonna to wanna to copy and paste out of it. Uh, and then we're gonna come over to the CDP folder and we're just gonna open that up. In here, there is a disk image and we're just gonna run that. If you want to install CDP fully uh, to use with SoundLoom, I would go through their full install instructions. For this, we're just gonna install it enough that it will work with SoundLoom. So what we need to do is put this somewhere safe. Uh, I would recommend your home folder as it's gonna make all the steps after this just a little bit easier. So we're gonna to go to back to our uh, file browser. We're gonna to go to go, I'm gonna to go to home. Then we're just gonna take this folder and we're gonna drag it into our home directory. Once that's done copying across, 
we just need to go back to our downloads folder and then we're going to open up the terminal app you can either do that by pressing command and space and typing in terminal or you can come down to your applications go to utilities and open terminal so we need to set permissions for the Composer's desktop project to run. Uh, otherwise, macOS will block it because it's not part of their developer program. Um, if you put it in your home directory, you can just follow this next step. But if you put it somewhere else, there's some instructions in the install guide text file that will walk you through how to install it from there. Um, the next step is we just need to go uh, into our help file. Uh, and here you'll find this step here that just sets the security permissions for CDP. So we're just gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste that into the terminal. And we're going to run that. And that will have approved every app that is inside that folder. Next, we need to go to running SoundThread. Uh, so we're just going to go into the SoundThread folder that we unzipped and we're gonna unzip SoundThread and this will become an app for us. You can put this wherever you would like. A good place is inside your applications folder. Um, I'm just gonna leave mine here because I'm gonna have a lot of different versions on this computer. Um, and we're just gonna double click it and it won't run. There's nothing to panic, panic about uh, like CDP. Uh, I'm not part of the Apple developer program either. Uh, and so to begin with, your computer is going to block it. So you're going to get some kind of warning message. I'm on a slightly older version of Mac because this is quite an old MacBook. Um, so yours might say something like, do you want to move this to the bin or whatever? Um, but don't do that. If it asks you that, just press cancel. If you get this warning, just press OK and nothing will happen. The next thing we need to do is just tell Apple that this is safe. Uh, so we're going to just open up our system settings. Um, so just going to settings or system preferences. And then we're going to go to security and privacy. And here where it says soundthread.app was blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer, just press open anyway. It will then try and open it again and it will say, are you sure? We are sure. So we're just going to press open. Because it's our first time running SoundThread, we need to tell SoundThread where the Composer's desktop project is. So we're just going to come down here to where it says click to locate CD progs. And then we're just going to find where we installed it. Uh, in our case, this is in our home folder uh, here, CDPR8 underscore CDP underscore CD progs. And then we're just going to press open. And that's it. You're ready to start patching.